Welcome to your personal development course. You are on Death Ed Italy online tutorial program. I am Aileen Maglanque Santiago from Aliaga National High School, SD on Nueva Ecija. You can call me Tutor A, and I am here today to help you feel okay. For today's episode, we will be talking about the first lessons on personal development teenage relationships including the acceptable and unacceptable expressions of attractions and personal relationship attraction love and commitment the first quarter has just passed very recently and i believe you learned a lot from the different concepts that you talk about together with your teachers and your classmates as we start, let me give you an overview of what the quarter two all about. First, it's all about building and maintaining relationships. Second, establishing social influences. Lastly, understanding various concepts about career development. These are the lessons that we will be sharing about as we journey this quarter two about nourishing and empowering your personal development. Now, let me share with you the learning targets of our episode. At the end of this session, you should be able to understand teenage relationships, including the acceptable and unacceptable expressions of attractions. Express your ways of showing attraction, love, and commitment. And lastly, value the importance of becoming responsible in a relationship. Before we proceed to the lesson discussion, let me first acknowledge the source of our modules for today. Marami pong salamat, Region 4A Calabarzon, for allowing us to use these modules. With that, let us begin. Let's first talk about teenage relationships, including the acceptable and unacceptable expressions of attractions. One of the milestones of your development as an individual is the stage when you learn to connect with other people and build relationships with them. Isa sa napakahalagang bagay na dapat niyong matutunan bilang mga kabataan ay ang mag-establish at magkaroon ng relationships with other people that you are encountering and will be encountering throughout this journey. And in that way, you will be able to broaden your connections and deepen your relationships with them. There will be various of people that you will be meeting from various contexts. That is why it's very important that you open yourself with other people because it's better to live in a world with a lot of friends and, of course, loved ones. With that, let me give you this concept, personal relationship, that refers to the relation or connection between or among people formed by emotional bonds and interaction. And these personal relationships manifest in three forms. They are family, friends, and romantic partnerships. And these personal relationships that we have ay mas lalo nating pinayayabong at mas lalo nating pinayayaman for us to be able to have meaningful or significant relationships with other people. And with that, now let's proceed to the three kinds of personal relationships wherein we could classify these three forms. The first one is this what we call privacy and intimacy. It is a sense of openness and sharing with one another and the state of being apart from others' observation. Among your personal relationship, you form this what we call bond or the intimacy that could either be 
physical or emotional. And as to form that bond, you also have this what we call privacy, wherein you find it very comfortable to share with other people whom you share with in a relationship your struggles, your problems, or your secrets. And this is how personal relationships become more significant and more powerful. It is because you are being bounded by this privacy and intimacy that later on grow and grow and grow. The second one is impersonal relationship. It portrays commitment and connection to a group of people or an organization like a club, company business, and the like. This is a kind of relationship wherein your purpose is to transact a certain business or it could either be about something you're connected with first. So, pwedeng ito yung relasyon mo sa SSG president nyo, or maaari naman sa iyong kaklase, na ang nagiging connection nyo ay a certain purpose. The last one is this what we call attraction. It refers to a fond or tender interest or appeal towards someone. It also means you like and desire a person. And I believe that you can really relate on this. Dahil marami sa mga kabataan ngayon ang mabilis ma-attract sa ibang tao. Lalo tigit sa lahat kung siya ba yung sikat sa loob ng campus. Lalo na kung meron siyang malalim na dimple. Or talaga namang dalagang Pilipina at binatang Pilipino. So I believe na nakakaramdam kayo ng attraction na ito sa ibang tao. And this time, for the learners, this will be the focus of our discussion. To further talk about attraction, let us now proceed with the question, what makes a healthy and acceptable expression of attractions? Bilang mga kawataan, napakahalagang bagay na maunawaan at maintindihan ninyo kung paano nga ba dapat ipahayag ang inyong attraction sa ibang tao. Now, let's talk about three ways on how to do that. The first one is mutual respect. Respect in a partnership means that each partner trusts and respects the witnesses of each other will never question them. We heard it multiple times. Respect begets respect. At yaan ay totoo. Sa isang relasyon, mahalagang bagay na marunong tayong rumispeto. Irerespeto natin ang paniniwala, irerespeto natin ang opinion, irerespeto natin ang pagkakaiba. At sa isang relasyon, mas lumalago ito kung nakikita itong tinatawag natin na respeto. Na bagamat kayo man ay magkaiba ng pananaw, kayo ay mayroon pa rin respeto sa isa't isa. The second one is trust. How a person reacts when he feels jealous matters. That situation will determine how the other person trusts his or her partner in a relationship. They say, trust, it is a big word. Kaya, kailangan ito ang makita sa isang relasyon na marunong tayong magtiwala sa ibang tao at marunong tayong magtiwala sa kanyang mga salita. Kapag walang tiwala ng isang relasyon, magkakaroon ito ng napakalaking lamat that later on would affect the progress of the relationship. The last one is support. It is not only in the difficult times that you should be supported by your partner. Usually, when the whole world is falling apart, we thought that this is the only time we need support from others. Even in your best, you still need support and when time gets tough, your significant other should still be there. That is correct. We should be able to express and show our support with the person we are with in a relationship because it's very important na maipakita natin ang pagmamalasakit, maipakita natin ang pag-suporta sa lahat ng mga bagay na gusto niyang gawin, lalo tikit sa lahat sa mga pangarap na gusto niyang abutin. Ikaw ba ay tag-support or ikaw ay tag-discourage? Ikaw lamang ang makakasagot nito. On the other hand, let's now talk about 
unacceptable expressions in a relationship. What are those? Let's have the first one. Cheating. If you are in a committed monogamous relationship, cheating should be out of the question. At yan ang pinakaayaw ng lahat sa isang relasyon. Wag maglolo ko. Sabi nga nila, wag mga ngaliwa. And isang reminder mula kay Tutor A. In this world full of hindi makontento sa isa, be the one who upholds this. Ikaw lang, sapat na. Bakit titingin pa sa iba? Tama? Second, controlling behavior. You should have a life outside of your relationship, away from your partner. It is not their place to tell you who you can see, when you can see them, what to eat, or how to dress. At ito ang isang bagay na very toxic sa isang relationship. Hindi porke na kayo ay nasa isang relasyon, ay dapat nang diktahan ng sino man sa inyo ang isa't isa. We have to grow independently. At kasama dito ay ang pagtuto natin mag-isa at pag-explore natin ng mga bagay na gusto nating gawin. Kaya naman huwag nating hayaan na diktahan tayo ng sino man, lalo tipit sa lahat ng kasama natin sa isang relationship. Last one, lack of communication. You to grow together if you don't discuss your wants and needs. You both need to feel comfortable openly expressing your feelings, good and bad. Otherwise, you might begin to resent each other. Ang isang relasyon ay hindi lalago kung walang komunikasyon, kung hindi kayo mag-uusap at ang paraan ng pag-uusap ay yung may makikinig at may magsasalita. Nawa, matuto kayo na makinig at magsalita sa tamang oras at sa tamang pagkakataon. Pero isa rin namang reminder para sa mga kabataang katulad ninyo. Mm-hmm. But a friendly reminder from Tutor A. Huwag pupuyatin kung hindi naman jojoain. Huwag i-entertain kung papaasahin lang din. Hugot! Those are the unacceptable expressions in a relationship. Now, let's proceed to lesson number two. We will be talking about personal relationship, attraction, love, and commitment. Attraction is being defined from a Ryan Webster dictionary, the action or power of evoking interest, pleasure, or liking for someone or something, and a quality or feature that evokes interest, liking, or desire. We have this what we call key components of attraction. Paano na de-develop ang attraction na ito? Una, we have this what we call physical attractiveness. Attractive people draw out a more positive first impression. Initially, people tend to be influenced by what they see. At sa panahon ngayon, Kailangan maganda ka, kailangan gwapo ka. Kaya maraming mga kabataang katulad ninyo ang abala sa paglalagay ng lip tint at cheek tint. At ganun din naman, pagpapa-impress sa mga dalaga sa pamamagitan ng paglalagay ng hair fix. Tama ba ako? Dahil ang nagiging pasihan ng attraction, kapag cut ka, go. Kapag foggy ka, go. Pero paano kapag hindi na? No. Second, similarity. When you are asked by your teacher to select a partner for an activity, who do you usually choose? Maaring siguro ito yung kaklase nyo na parehas kayong magaling sa language o kaya naman parehas kayong magaling sa numbers or kaya naman parehas kayo ng favorite NBA team. Nako, ang pagkakaroon ng similarity ay isang paraan din upang ma-develop ang attraction. Lalo na kapag parehas kayong mahilig sa milk tea or kaya naman ay parehas kayo ng online game na nilalaro. Third, proximity. 
it pertains to the physical distance with other people and it is related to functional distance or yung tinatawag natin na how often people interact or communicate with each other. Kaya lahat ng mga nasa LDR o yung tinatawag na natin na long distance relationship, saludo tayo sa kanila. Dahil sa kabilaman ng pagkakalayo ay nananatili pa rin ang relasyong matibay at matatag. Pero mahalagang bagay din naman na mayroong physical distance na mas maraming oras na magkasama ang dalawang tao sa isang relasyon. At ito nga yung tinatawag natin na proximity. The last one is reciprocity. It is when feelings with someone are being reciprocated or returned in the same way as you do. Naalala ko tuloy yung mahal ko o mahal ako. Marami sa atin ang pag nagmahal, gusto rin itong masuklian. Kaya sa mga kabataang lalaki na nanliligaw, lagi lang sinasabi, nako, hindi naman yan magpapaligaw kung hindi rin niya ako gusto. At ganun din sa attraction. Napakalaga para sa atin na maibalik din sa atin ang ating nararamdaman towards sa isang tao. Pero paano kung hindi niya magagawa ito? Ano ang gagawin mo? Those are the key components of attraction. Now, let's proceed to this what we call love. This is the thing that everybody really enjoys. And if you are going to check the definition of love in the dictionary, panigurado, maraming kahulugan ang makikita mo. But particularly from Merriam Webster Dictionary, love is being defined as a strong affection for another arising out of kinship or personal ties. Attraction based on sexual desire, affection, and tenderness felt by lovers. And the last one, affection based on admiration, benevolence, or common interest. Now you have right here. The Robert Sternberg Triangular Model of Love. It is adopted from the Book of Principles of Social Psychology, the first international edition of Dr. Charles Stranger. And if you can see right there, isa itong illustration kung paano nga ba na perform ang love. Meron tayong tinatawag na liking, romantic love, companionate love, infatuation. And empty love, and meron then fatuous love. But at the center, we have this what we call the consummate love, intimacy plus passion plus commitment. It does hindi pala natin matatawag na pag-ibig yung tinatawag natin na infatuation lang, at hindi rin love na masasabi kung ito ay intimacy or liking lang. Pinakamahalaga na ang isang pag-ibig ay binubuo ng intimacy, ng passion, at ng commitment. At panigurado, marami pa kanyang iba't ibang kahulugan na pwedeng ma-associate sa love. But then, to further understand what love means, let me give you this what we call commitment. We refer to a long-term relationship between individuals when we talk about commitment. It is a more complex relationship that resulted to increasingly turn to each other, not only for social support, but also for help in coordinating activities, remembering dates and appointments and accomplishing tasks. And commitment is the deeper sense of being in a relationship. Sabi nga sa isang kanta, kasama kang tumanda. Na sa kabila man ng mga pagsubok na kahit man pumuti ang buhok mo at kahit man mabungi ka, walang magbabago sa pagmamahal na ito. Kukulubot ang iyong balat, kukupas ang panahon, pero ang pag-ibig ay mananatili. That is what we call commitment. Ang iyong pagtitiwala at pagtatalaga ng iyong sarili sa isang tao na gusto mong makasama habang buhay. Ngayon, ang tanong ko, ano pa nga bang relasyon? ang nagtatagal. 
For the learners, I am very much excited because we are now here on our assessment. And let me give you the directions for our two activities. For activity number one, write the word true if the following statements are correct and false if incorrect. For activity two, read the given statements and choose the letter of the correct answer. Are you ready? Let's have the first item for activity one. Attraction is a force that unites people. True or false? What is your answer, per the learners? If your answer is true, you are correct. Second item. Affection is one of human beings' greatest emotions. True or false? If your answer is true, good job, part of learners. Last item for activity one. Infatuation is a love with engagement or intimacy. Is it true or false? If your answer is false, you are amazing. Now, let's proceed to activity two. First item. What do you call the feelings and action that keep partners working together to maintain a relationship? Letter A, affection. B, attraction. C, commitment. D, love. For the learners, if your answer is C, commitment, you are correct. Last item for activity two. Which of the following pertains to the physical distance between two individuals? A, physical appearance. B, proximity. C, reciprocity. And D, similarity. What do you think is the correct answer? If your answer is letter B, proximity, you are correct for the learners. Amazing. I hope that you are able to get a perfect score. And next week, we will continue our lesson only here on personal development. I hope that you are able to get a perfect score. If not, it's okay. We will be seeing each other next week for another episode only here on personal development but then before i say goodbye let me give you this hashtag a shout out a bible verse from first john chapter 3 that reminds us dear children let us not love with words or speech but with actions and in truth Let's always share love to one another, most especially to our loved ones, to our friends, our classmates, and to every single person around us. And it's very important na hindi lang mang tayo magmahal sa salita, kundi ipakita natin ito sa gawa. Katulad din naman ng pagmamahal sa atin ng Panginoong Heso Kristo na napatay sa krus para sa kaligtasan ng buong mundo. Once again, for the learners, I am Tutor A. And always remember, never doubt your potentials because you are a courageous conqueror. You are a true champion and you are destined for greatness. See you next week. Bye!